I am Chris Hudig, the Technical Sales Manager for the Carnac Corporation. We're here on the roof today to apply a white reflective roof coating. But before we do that, we want to talk about one of the products Carnac makes that's specific to go over asphalt roofing underneath our white reflective coating, and that's Carnac 405 Bond and Shield. 405 Bond and Shield is a substrate specific base coat, especially for asphalt. It's good for over smooth modified, smooth built up, as well as granular modified. This coating over asphalt improves the adhesion of the top white reflective acrylic coating, as well as stops and improves blister resistance and asphalt from bleeding up through trying to turn a white coating dark. Cleaning the roof is one of the most important things. We can do that by using a stiff broom to remove dirt and debris. Pressure washing or power washing is also recommended. It's best to use Carnac number 799 Wash and Prep Roof Cleaner. This is a pro-grade, highly concentrated cleaner. After we clean the roof, we're gonna take the 405 Bond and Shield, mix it, pour an amount down onto the roof, and then roll the coating out. 405 Bond and Shield should be applied at the rate of one and a half gallons per 100 square feet. 405 Bond and Shield has a light blue tint to it, so you know where it's been applied and where the reflective white top coating goes on over top. Hi, I'm Chris Hudig, the Technical Sales Manager for the Carnac Corporation. I'm here today to talk about applying our white top reflective coating, 501 Elastical Brand. We've already applied a coat of our 405 Bond and Shield base coat over this asphalt roof. After we've done that, Carnac offers three options for coating this roof. The 501 I just mentioned, which is UL rated, factory mutual rated, also rated by the Cool Roof Rating Council and Energy Star. For an economy grade white coating, Carnac offers 529 Renew White. The third coating we have, Carnac 535 QS Enviro Elastic, is another product that's exclusive to Carnac. This product actually cures within 20 minutes. That means if a flash rain was to come by, this product will not wash away. The other coatings I mentioned generally take two to six hours to dry. Now that we've previously applied the 405 base coat and allowed time for that to dry, we'll begin our application of the 501 Elastobrite directly over top of that. We'll first need to remove the lid and mix the product. We can do that using either a broomstick or a jiffy type mixer and a half inch drill. When you're applying the 501 Elastobrite over top of the 405, make sure you apply the product perpendicular to the first coat. This product can be applied with a 3 quarters inch nap roller or for large projects, airless spray equipment. Today I'm 3 quarters inch, 18 inch wide roller. 501 Elastobrite provides a very highly reflective roof surface to keep the roof cool and extend its service life. 501 also, with its reflectivity, stops heat transfer into the building. That's going to make working inside the building cooler, as well as reduce energy costs if that building is air conditioned inside. This product is excellent for industrial use on flat roofs, as well as flat roofs for residential. For more information, visit carnaccorp.com.